everyone, I'm back. I'm on Thanksgiving break right now, so I really wanted to film a couple of videos for you guys. And this one I'm actually really excited about. I'm going to be doing my November favorites. And if you guys watch a lot of beauty gurus, it's a very popular video for them to do. They always talk about their favorite beauty products that they've found themselves using a lot throughout the month. So I absolutely love watching them, so I figured I would do one of my own. And I'm going to try to do these monthly, but don't kill me if I, you know, skip a month or something. But, so, it just seems like a lot of fun, so I'm going to go ahead and get right into it and not bore you guys. So, the first thing that I have absolutely been loving this month is my new foundation, and this is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And I have been using, like, Revlon Color Stay for a really, really long time, for like the past two years, I believe. And I was like, okay, you know, I'm just ready for something different. Um... I don't like to stick with the same foundation for a while, or for that long, because, I don't know, I felt like there was something better out there for me. And so, right before I started school, I was like, I want to get a new foundation that really makes my skin look flawless. So, I went ahead and tried this one out, and I really, really, really love it so far. And I've been wearing it, like I said, since before school started. Sorry if I'm, like, shaking the camera. I keep hitting the table. But, um, yeah, I started wearing it before school started, so that was about um, mid-August, so since then. So I really, really like it, and um, the reason why I'm mentioning it, obviously I've been wearing it every day of November, but I just wanted to kind of give it a little shout-out, like, I love this product, so. And that's the first thing, and then along with that, I use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer, which looks like this, if I can get it open. It's in a little pot like this, and mine's kind of messy because I use it every day. Um, but this is really good for covering blemishes and stuff. I still need to find a good concealer to use under my eyes because this one's a little bit too thick and I wouldn't, like, recommend it for that. But it's really, really good at covering blemishes, so I like that a lot. Because I do break out a lot, unfortunately, and so that kind of helps me with that. And if you were wondering, I am the color NW20 from MAC, um, for those two products. And then I use the, this is really... I use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Um, it looks like this. And these are the, it's like a baked powder. I can't really show you. It used to be like a dome, but it's kind of flattened now. Um, I'm the color Light Medium. And this is a really good powder because it doesn't look too cakey. And it looks really natural. Um, so, I don't know if, I, kind of, I feel like I need something with more coverage. Um, maybe like a powder foundation, but as of right now, like, I really, really like this stuff, and I didn't think I would, so that's good. Okay, what else should I show you? So, I'm just kind of sticking with the makeup right now. This has been, oh my gosh, I love this thing, and I talked about this in my last, um, one of my last videos. This is the Urban Decay Naked Palette, and I do know that it's really hard to find, unfortunately, which is so stupid. I went through a wild goose chase to get this thing. But I really have been loving it. Um, I'll show you some of the colors. This is what they look like. I've been loving, let's see what colors I use a lot. This color Sin. I use that on my lid. And I use this color Virgin to highlight. And some of my favorite combinations, I use this color Toasted a lot. It's kind of like a plummy brown. And then you can darken it up with this one called Hustle. So those have been some really pretty combinations. So, love, love, love that, and I'll probably be using it, like, for the rest of my life. Um, okay, and then this lip gloss is from MAC. I feel like I have a lot of MAC pro uh, products, but this one is Bow Luster Glass, and it looks like this. And the reason I like this, I'm wearing it right now, it's more of a fall color. Um, it's darker, but it's not too dark, at least I don't think so. Um, so it's kind of perfect for fall. It's kind of like a brownish color, which is weird, but... I really like it on my skin tone and with my hair color and stuff, so I've been wearing that one a lot. And then, actually, this is the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I don't know when this came out, but I, I think it's pretty recent. Um, I picked this up last time I was at the drugstore, and I am impressed. I've always loved Maybelline mascaras, but um, I think the last one I was using was actually, it was Maybelline. It was the Pulse Perfection Mascara, and I loved that one. Um, Especially the brush on that one was awesome, but this one has a really unique brush. It kind of curves. It curves, 
and it just makes my lashes like really big and really volumized so I like that a lot I was actually really really pleasantly surprised with this mascara um, I saw that my roommate was using it and she has like gorgeous eyelashes so I thought I would try it and I really do like it okay and then um, let's see I'll stick with the makeup still sorry I have so much I feel like I have a ton um, recently on Max website I ordered one of these palettes and you can get them with the eyeshadows already in there so I ordered a bunch of them and I mean I, I don't like to have this set up right now I'm gonna get a whole bunch of these palettes and depot all of the ones that I do have already because I, they're all still in the pot form and I just found that it's a lot easier to just have them all in one single um, palette so that you have them all for your use and so that's gonna be a huge project over Christmas break that I'm gonna have to do is color code all of them and depot all of them it's gonna be crazy but I really, really like them in this form, I think, which I didn't think I would, but I do. Okay, and then another one of my favorites, I'm going to move on to nail polishes. These are my two favorites. One of them, they're both by OPI. So this one is um, Glitzerland, and these are from the Switzerland collection that came out, I think it was in like August or something, but this is a really, really pretty gold color, and it's not like too much of a yellowy gold or... Um, too dark of a gold. It's like the perfect color. And it's kind of shimmery and sparkly. It's really, really pretty. This would be perfect for holiday parties. So um, I'll probably be wearing this for Thanksgiving, but this um, video will probably be up after that. So yeah. But um, you know, Christmas, whatever. Really, really pretty. And then another one that's kind of similar but a different color is called Loose Certainly Look Marvelous. So this is more of the gunmetal gray type of it, but it's also shimmery and glittery and really pretty. So I love those. Those could be good for like New Year's, Christmas, anything, any holiday. Okay, now the last couple items, two of them are perfumes. And um, this one is my absolute favorite perfume ever, but I recently just like started using it again. And it is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. And I got this last Christmas, and... I wore it as soon as I got it. I wore it all the time, and come summer, I started not to wear it as much because I was afraid, like, it was starting to get really low. Like, as you can tell, like, I am almost out. It's, like, right there. So, I stopped using it because I'm like, I don't want it to go away. So, I started using one that's kind of similar from Victoria's Secret. It kind of smells like it. It's the fresh and clean one. Since they're both really light and clean smelling scent. So I started using that one in the place of it just so I could save this one. And then recently I was like, I miss it. I want to um, take it out. So I started using it again. And I'm, I'll probably get a new one for Christmas. So I might as well use it up, I guess. So I really, really love this perfume. It smells so good. So, so good. Okay, and then this other one, if I'm not wearing that one, I'm most likely wearing this. And it is um, the Victoria's Secret Pink this isn't the perfume, it's the Sheer Fragrance Mist, but they also have the actual perfume, like if you want more of a heavier scent. I don't know why I chose this one, probably just because it's cheaper. My camera keeps shaking, sorry, I'm going to move my foot. But um, this smells really good too. It's, it's not, it's a whole different scent than that one that I just showed you. But it also smells really good, so love that. Okay, and then the last thing, I recently discovered this product. And it's a hair product, so um, it's called It's a 10. And what you do, okay, it says it's a miracle leave-in product, and there's 10 different things that it does to your hair. So, number one, it repairs dry, damaged hair, it adds shine, it detangles, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, prevents split ends, stops hair breakage, creates silkiness, enhances natural body, and it's a flat iron spray and thermal protector. So it does all those 10 things, and it is so, so good. Um, it, it was a little bit expensive, that's why I had to get like a little bottle. And I haven't like really used that much yet, but I normally like I just spray it on the ends of my hair. I don't put it up here really because, I don't know, my hair gets really gross if I do that. But I really, really like it. I'm trying to grow my hair out, and it's been a pain in the butt, but hopefully that product helps. And it's, it makes your hair really soft, too. Um, I, I've stopped straightening my hair. I don't know if you can tell. It's kind of like, it's still straight. Like, this is my natural hair, but it just kind of, 
gets a little wavy in some spots, but yeah, I really want it long, so that's my whole plan. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to post a video response of your November favorites, then you can do that, and I'd be so happy to see those. And um, I just thank you guys for watching, and I really missed you guys, so thank you. Love you guys. Bye.